Hello and welcome to Reef Girl's Daily Dose number three. On September the 10th, the phosphates in this system read as zero. Today is six days later, September 16th, and I need to check what they are today before I decide whether or not to add any more phosphate. After that low reading on the 10th, I shut off the skimmer and I added one dose of this stuff. Elementals P from Fauna Marin. I put 20 milliliters in, so it should have been enough to raise it by 0 0.01. My concern is I don't want to jump it up only to find out that I continue to do what I did before, which was feed a crop of algae. So I need to do a water test and check where it's at. I'm gonna grab, I might as well do phosphate, nitrate, and alkalinity. So I'll grab enough of a sample out of there and take that upstairs when I'm done down here. Okay, so we have to check on the overflow because the filter pad gets really dirty. And yeah, I think it's probably time I change that out. So I have this bag and it's already uh, pre-cut filter pads with a thinner, more dense layer on top. All right, so I pulled one out. I stashed the bag right there because you know, if it isn't handy and ready to go, <laughs> it's more of a hassle to do it and then it doesn't get done. Okay. So I've put a container here into which I'll put the dirty pad. Let's just get this lid shifted over a bit. And I'll just pull that out. Tip off a bit. Yeah, I don't want that lid to fall off in its meat. <laughs> it's kind of tricky. You know what? I'm going to take it right off. All right, so I set the lid down on the floor because I really don't want to have that in the tank. It's not very clean, especially on the outside. And so here's what I do with this. I put this on a diagonal so that it has the maximum space for the hose to push the water out. And then I put this on top. Um, I'm wondering, maybe, you know what, maybe I'm going to put this underneath because I noticed the other one has gaps where the water is just running over the top and hasn't really gone through the filter pad. So I'm going to do this. Just try it. And that way, anything that gets through this top layer will go through the bottom layer and it'll be more likely to get trapped. Theoretically. <laughs> Okay, all right, so that should last about two days. Most days I feed frozen food to all of the tanks, and here it is. I'm preparing it. I have one cube of mysa shrimp, one cube of spirulina enriched brine shrimp, one cube of oyster eggs, and one cube of kalanis. So I put a couple of drops of Celcon in, kind of on each cube. And then I take roughly 100 milliliters of tank water and add it. And that's the concentration that I use to feed. This lasts maybe three days, sometimes four. I don't feed it every day, but most days I do. All right, so the food is thawed. Time to do some feeding. Just stir this up a little to mix it all. I have all different sizes of food in here for corals and fish. Now I'm gonna go over and shut off what I need to shut off, which is the heater, the pump, and the UV. Also the skimmer. I always leave on the power head. That really pushes the food all over the tank. All right, so I don't draw up too much because I don't want to waste it and cause nutrient issues. So here we go. See, it goes in the power head and just goes absolutely everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
and the fish love it. Clownfish is a little protective. She hates it when that baster goes into the tank. And then she goes and chases food just like everybody else. Yeah, this Cinerina is really starting to improve. It was all white along that front edge not long ago and it's slowly coming back. Wish I could say the same about Buster, but all I can do is hope that he hangs on until I can get him over to the frag tank and maybe dose some targeted coral repair substances. I keep the extra food refrigerated so it doesn't spoil. Right beside the Aquaforest Liquid Mysis. Love that stuff. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up? Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow with more.